Four, um, we are calling the Tuesday, January 23rd, Middlesex Select Board Special Meeting uh, to order at 5.05. Mm -hmm. um, first order of business is to approve the minutes of January 16th, the regular Select Board meeting, action likely. Uh, so we were all here, right? The three of us? Everybody was here. Okay, is there any discussion about the approving of the minutes? Is there a motion? Make the motion that we approve the minutes of the January 16, 2023 regular select board meeting. Okay, and is there a second? Okay. All those in favor of approving the minutes, say aye. Aye. Okay. And now we're going to approve the um, the agenda. And do we have amendments for it, Sarah, for January 23rd, which is now, today? Um, I just added an, an, an amendment at the bottom when we approve the boring to set a date for an informational meeting for Article 7 if you guys decide to go with that because if it's a public question we have to have an informational meeting before town meeting. Read the excavator, like buying an excavator? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so is there a motion to approve this amended agenda? Uh, I make the motion that we approve the amended Agenda, agenda for January 23, 2024, okay. special select board meeting. Is there a second? Second. All righty. We have a first and a second, and all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. So, Sophie, you are up. This is 505. We're considering renewal of higher collectives indoor cultivator tier one small cultivator license at 75 Gilmet Road, operated by Sam Antrim and Sophie Bowater, action likely. So Sophie, you have the floor to just tell us a little bit about this. And I I guess at this point, we, there's no paperwork, but we just have to give you either a verbal approval or not, right? Is that what you understand? Yeah, yeah I, I think that's what they need. So we're a tier one um, cannabis business. Um, we aren't, we're on the same property, but a different building. Uh, we're up for our renewal. We got licensed on February 16th, I think it was last year. Um, and um, as Sarah was saying, this is a new thing that they're requesting. So uh, is there, I'm not sure quite any other, what, what else do you need? <laughs> I don't think I I don't I think that we just need to hear that you're looking to renew this license. Has everything been going fine with the business? Everything's fine. Um, we're just working really hard to keep up. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, we're using Are the neighbors. Any complaints from the neighbors or anything like uh, that? We we have thirty acres there, so we don't even see our neighbors from our shop spot or. Um, on our property, so. And it's you said you're indoor cult, so you're growing in in a greenhouse or something. We're so. growing on. Um, well, we got our whole property at seventy five, um, but um, it was we bought a section, a different section from the McGraths a long time ago. Fifty one, I think, was their address. So it's in a different structure from our house. Gotcha. Okay. And we're not using um, right now the amount of square foot that we're actually um, legally allowed to. Okay. So. And do you know, is this a yearly license that we renew? Yeah. Okay. All right. Does anyone have any questions for Sophie? No. Nope. Nope. Okay. So is there a motion to approve um, yeah. a renewal of higher collectives indoor cultivator tier one small cultivator license? We'll make that motion. Alrighty. Is there a second? second? Alrighty. All those in favor of approving the renewal of the license say aye. 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 Okay. So Sophie, it looks like you can let your people know that we approved it and maybe you need a copy in the minutes or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I'll just give her a copy of the Okay. So you'll get a copy of the minutes that show that we approved um, your license. Wonderful. Thank you. And it so I could... Up. And I should um, send it to the CCB board. And uh, you had mentioned you would you would send it, but I'm happy to send it too. Uh, you know what? I'll just uh, CC both of you. How about that, Sophie? Uh, okay, just... sounds great. Right. Sounds great. Thank you so uh, much. You're welcome. Thank Have you. Have a great day. Have a good meeting. Bye-bye.
Okay. Um, highway report. Do do you have everything you need for starting slightly early on the highway report, Eric? Yeah. Okay. Um, why don't you give us a little update on what's happening on the town roads? Uh, let's see. We have two trucks in operation. The third one uh, is at the dealer, and they are ordered. They have ordered the parts to repair it. I do not know how long that'll take. Uh, I talked to them this afternoon, and uh, it was ordered, but he did not have a date on when the parts would actually be in to fix it. Oh, uh, let's see. So two trucks does not mean one truck plus, plus the grader. We have two trucks and one grader. Okay. And um, that's about where we're at. Okay. You, took the, uh, you took the international to... Uh, oh, yes. They went to uh, to McLeod's to have some suspension work done on it. And that is back in, in back for safe operation. That was out for two and a half days, three days. We have weather tonight or not? Small or enough, no, less than an inch. They're called. How's your gravel? Or your um, sand? Sand. Play sand. You put that yep. in the sand. Okay. Uh, anyone have any questions for Eric about the roads? How did the signage situation go for Shady Rail and those bottles? I am acquiring some. We didn't have any problems. Any other questions? Questions, anyone? Already. That's it. All right. Thank you very much. Wow. Oh, we, I, uh, oh sorry. Go oh, right ahead. I'm sorry. Um, has anybody been in touch with Steve Martin? I talked to him earlier today. Is he feeling better? Yes. Yeah. I yeah. meant to call him today. Yeah, I called him. I called him this afternoon, and uh, he was working in his office, and he would be in touch with us. That's what he said. Yeah. All righty. Anything else? That's it. Good. Thank you, Eric. Um, Jeff is on his way. He's not here. Okay. And we have Zara here. Zara, I, I'm assuming that Mark is coming too, right? For the budget. Like we're way yeah. ahead now. Yeah. Wow. And he and he likes to show, kind of come when he's uh, allotted to come. Um, yeah, so no, he. No. Yeah. Um, I wonder if um, we could shoot him an email just to see if he may be at home and he may be available and be happy to join. Um, but are the other guys coming too, like Elias and all that? Elias had a different meeting. Um, and I know that uh, George was planning on being here online. And I guess Randy's not there tonight. Huh? He was the only one I had heard, not heard from. Um, but mean, if you if you it. wanted to start, I feel like Mark has done a, a pretty successful job but let me i'll send him an email right now actually i'm going to text him okay why don't you do that and we'll move forward i'd like to wait for him i don't want to like jump ahead just because we have the time because there's other things that we can do that don't really require no. um yeah don't we have to go to the fire department jeff's not here yet and he's the one with the report oh he was today the day we were remember we were supposed to go to welch park that's february 6th so, okay Jeez. Um, but wait a minute, I don't see anything about a fire station here. No, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I see. Pop. I'm sorry. I skipped right over. I wrote all over it. Okay. Um, all right. So yeah, Jeff's not here. Um, be here in a minute. Okay. So you know what, Zara, just hold off unless you've already done it. I just, I just texted him saying okay. that they're ready for us now. Okay. Um, you guys want to do dump down to the liquor licenses? Yeah, let's do the approving class one and two liquor license renewals for the local action possible. Is that like a piece of paper you have? You know, no longer. We just have to say. Just, it's like a cannabis thing. You just okay. Have to pay online. Because All right. For them for their class one and class two. Okay, and everybody knows what the local is. Okay. Is there a motion to approve class one and two liquor license renewals for the local? I so move. Okay, and a second. All righty. All those in favor of those. Two liquor licenses say aye. 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 Okay. Um, the select board report, we can look at that. Is that something you wrote, Sarah? 
Yeah, I sent it to you last Friday. Well, I don't have a copy of it. Okay. I didn't bring my computer. I do. Well, good. I have a copy. It's right here. Oh, exactly. Ready? Uh, Would I, should I read it aloud? No, uh, because we want it to be a special when people read it. <laughs> All I just want to know is if, you, if it passes muster with you guys, we'll put it in. Okay. For, um, uh, that only happened this last year, the Middlesex Fire Department. That's how the year began. <sighs> And then the rain came. You guys need a um. You, you don't need a card copy. No, I'm reading this. <laughs> this is like my Christmas letter going over everything that happened during the year so, so I can remember. It was a pretty crazy year. Does anyone get mail? I, you, do you get mail, Jeff? I don't. I don't get mail. Something yesterday, but I think we've got it like once a week now. That's why I put this thing on the warning about mailing out postcards instead of mailing the town reports. Mm. A very non committal answer from the post office about what they're going to deal with the situation. It's they're going to be so. swamped with it. We're all, I'm already sending out presidential primary ballots, and every single town is sending out presidential primary ballots, school ballots, town ballots. They're all separate. They're going to be absolutely overwhelmed. Don't know how they're going to function. Answer. No. So, yeah. in the old days, we used to, but not anymore. Washington, the school district is sending everybody town to school now. So, everybody's going to get it from Washington. Center. Some towns are sending the school and the because they don't have the board vote. They're all going to send the school and the town together. The career center has to be separate. Secretary of State's office wants to be. Your presidential primary ballot so separate that they gave us special envelopes just for the presidential primary ballots so we can't really send them out. I have to send out the presidential primary ballots within three days after getting a request. That's all going to be horrible yeah, and expensive brush. and wasteful. And I don't see how the post office is going to keep up. There's Jeff. Here comes Jeff. Okay. Um, so I have read this. Running ahead of time for one. Um, the only thing I would say is make sure that she's okay with you saying due to medical issues because the whole town's going to read it. Okay, we've said it a million times on the. I know, but I'm just saying yeah. more people read it than. I hear you. Uh, that that's all. Because she could I, have a deluge of phone calls. I know. I I, I that's a good point. Uh, cross my mind. Uh, so we could, if you guys want to move that we approve the. Um, you want to read it? I sent it to Jeff. I looked it over. Okay. It up. I make the yeah. motion that we approve the uh, select board uh, report. report. Okay. Okay. It's on... oh. okay. All those in favor? Aye. 
Okay, great. The eyes have it. You've been approved, Sarah. Okay. Okay. okay so now we are back to. Do we have every everyone from the fire department? Is anyone joining online? Yeah, Scott no. did. Oh, Scott did. Okay. Hi, Scott. Hi, Liz. How are you? I'm doing good. Good. Thanks for coming. All right, you guys are up with the monthly meeting of your um, updates to us. So take it away. Okay, so we finished up 2023 with 99 calls. Ooh. We've had some so far 11 in January, um, 14 for the reporting period, but considering we have an extra week, that's not unusual. We had two mutual aid outs, no mutual aid ins. Uh, some of the interesting things the max response was eight. The min response was three. Normally it's one. Oh. And our average uh, members per call went from four to four and a half. So that's a big up. Great. Um, as far as the calls are there on the list, I do want to point out two. Um, on the 11th of January, they happened within about 10 minutes of each other. One was to Worcester, and they only had one person that could respond. We responded to that with an engine. We had another one in Middlesex that we were able to send people to as well. Um, so we're um, we're fielding a lot of calls and we're being able to make the calls and not have to call for help. Um, as far as our training, we actually had two trainings. Um, we had CPR uh, on the 2nd of January. And then we went to, uh, all but two of us went to the lithium battery awareness class that was put on by the Vermont Fire Academy over in Barrie. Um, I hope you don't park your car near your house. That's all I can say. Please. Boom. Um, work night station cleanup. Uh, we did have to get a new tire on um, engine one. And we had a total of 16 calls so far for the fast squad. Or again, that number's up a little bit, but that's because there's an extra week in the reporting period. And the big thing is we have two new members. Uh, one was a junior and the other one is somebody from um Waterbury. So we're up to 13 people right. now. It's see right now. Um do you want to take a seat right now? That's all we have. Okay. What does CNX mean? What is that what's that? Canceled. Canceled. Okay. So we had like the BSP canceled us on a call uh, before okay. we could even get out, gotcha. out the door, which is always nice when they give us a heads up like that. Okay. Especially when the weather's clear. And uh, New Rescue's been out seven times this period. Oh, okay. So we're using it quite a bit. What happened to the old one? We're, we're going to um, try to sell it in the springtime. Mm -hmm. I figured there's no point in trying to sell it now. Yeah, we, we took everything, <laughs> everything off of it except for the generator. Mm -hmm. um, and we haven't taken lights off. We wouldn't use those lights anyway because they're they're old and they use up a lot of electricity. Yeah. LEDs are much nicer. Well, congratulations on getting two new members. That's great, especially a young person. That's awesome. Yes. Um, and he he lives in Moortown, but he's in our catchment area. Yeah. So it's it's worked cool. out well. Um. Do you guys have questions for the fire department? No I, questions. I do have. Uh, a topic I did want to bring up, it wasn't on this. Okay. Uh, I did go to Berlin because they were looking at combining the town like we did. They're different than what we were, but they wanted me to talk to see how things okay. went. But one of the things I had mentioned about our stipends and how much we get paid and the response from their uh, group is that even though your members aren't underneath the town, you really should look at doing minimum wage for everybody for hourly. Um, so we're running some numbers to see where that goes. But okay. That may be something that we how much do we give them now? Uh it's 1087 an hour or part of the And we used to give something ridiculous like two dollars. Two fifty when I started <laughs> 19 years ago. It went up to five and hung at five for a year. It was like a siphon, a weird little siphon. And then it went to 10 and we um this, because that was part of the bylaw, so we have to change it every time. So what we did is we changed it to uh, cost of living increase. Oh, 
Okay. Jeff, when you said, I didn't hear what you said after you said 1087. So you get paid 1087 and, and something or? 1087 an hour or part thereof. So if we go oh, an hour and 10 minutes and it's two hours. So that would be something for next year's budget we would be looking at? Yeah, we're, we're going to see, right. run our numbers from like this, the reporting period for the end of, yeah. end of December and see where we sit. And then, um, and what what we have budgeted, and see how that's going to impact. Um, so the select board still will have to make and approve those changes. Uh, if you change it per hour, because you are now running into the county. But the members are not part of the county. Doesn't matter. Then, if we're employees, then it should be automatic right now. If you're saying we're part of the town, then the town is not paying us minimum wage. Well, so if you yeah. want to call that card. I'm yeah. not calling the card. I, I'm just telling you that the select board approves that part of it. And the, the stipends are part of our membership that's separate from the the cap. What what um this the stipends are in the budget? They're in it the budget, be. but it's 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 paid to the members which aren't part of the town. So um, if, if you're gonna say that we're part of the town. Then you're violating the law by not paying minimum wage. Well, so this, take your pick on what you want to do. Well, hold on, Jeff. Uh, this isn't about like getting into a fight about it. This is right. like figuring out what, what is what we need yeah. to do. Right, and that's we're going to look at numbers and see if yeah. it's going to even impact what we budgeted for. Right. So I think what you're saying is, and correct me if I'm wrong. Let's just see, like, what is your stipend right now? Does it say ten eighty seven? No, I don't mean that. What is the budget oh, like I, right I, amount? Uh, <laughs> Fifteen thousand. Yeah. Okay. So, so you're saying you're going to look back and see how much did we actually spend, right? And, and then say if we turned that into, and we assumed that that would be the same, more or less the same amount that we might spend this year, if that became fifteen dollars an hour, whatever our minimum wage is, thirteen. That's 18. it. Um. Then you would say, um. That multiplied by however many hours is actually seventeen thousand, and so we don't have enough budgeted, or it's actually thirteen thousand. We have plenty of budgeted. Right, that's what we're going to look at. Okay, that's what you're doing. Okay, so I mean, I would venture to guess that more of the concern would be if we don't have the money, right? Not so much of whether or not we raise the minimum, we we raise the stipend to a minimum wage. I don't know. Where did the stuff would, come from? Is that just a carryover from that's, that Yeah, that's been and it's and it's been part of the budget ever since they've been to, I started in 2004 and it's been part of the budget since then. And that's when it was 250 a call. Um, and then we've slowly gotten it to be more. And then when we combine, that's why I brought up a, when we did this combination last year, is that we're the people are not employees of the town. The right. People are separate. I think it's that what what the fire department in Berlin is trying to say is that at the very least your stipend should be the equivalent of minimum wage, right. not minimum wage like we're paying you a salary. Like it should the, the dollar value should equal the equivalent of minimum wage. Which but I think other... the I think it should be twenty dollars an hour. The other question that came up previously was that the select board approves all those, and that's how that's what I was speaking to. It's not my call, it's, but that's what I was told. The select board never approved our increases. I think we no, did. because you weren't part of it. You weren't oh, part of right. the right of our of the town. But then it was discussed when you became part of the town that you guys. It, and it's just like the anybody coming to the select board asking for an increase in something. Um, they approve all the wages. But or, it's not. Uh, it's, I know it's a stipend. I, but it's but, not a wage. So that's. So the, the, what I'm saying is the select board will need to weigh in on this, is all I'm saying. Yeah. And Sarah, do we have like some agreement that we had with the with the fire department when we, was there anything like formally written? Yeah, when they became 
And if it's part of the budget, just to remind you guys, the select board puts a budget out for the voters to approve, and it can be amended from the floor at town meeting. That's a good point. So you should figure out what that. Yeah, that's what we're yeah. this, it's just this now just, really is, and and bring it up. Well, it may, it may not even be an issue. It might not be an issue, right? Because you haven't spent if you haven't spent your whole stipend. Right. I get you. Yeah. Um, okay, well, that's good to know. And um, what other towns like ours, Sarah, or have a fire department? Do you know like the relationship? I'm sorry, I don't. You don't know. I don't know. But you're saying Berlin wants to become sort of like us. They've been working on it for a couple of years. Okay. Vic has the same oh, I'm sorry, Vic. No, I just don't uh, hesitate to say. <laughs> no, I was just wondering, Sarah, I didn't quite hear that part. I think I heard it. It's about the select board approved. So the select board, when you approve a budget, what you're saying is you're approving a budget to be to present to the town voters. Right. And the town voters, if you're going to be, if you're going to, if that budget is going to be on the ballot, that the voters have yes or no. But if when the budget goes to the floor of a town meeting, voters can say they can modify the budget. They can stand up and say, I don't want to pay this for that, or and they can vote on it. The, the Susan Clark stuff starts off with that grand number, and then it's supposed to be voted on, like discussed. Jeff knows he attends every single town meeting, right, Jeff? <laughs> and you know, back in the days when Leroy Carlson was around, he would he would complain about 250 bucks spent on a brush to wipe off the grater. Remember those days? Yeah. <laughs> So um, I thought that's what you said. Yeah. Thank you. Well, and we are having an in-person this year. You bet. Okay. At the school. At the school. Okay. Okay. Are there any other questions for the fire department? Thank you for your service. Congratulations on your new recruits. Okay. Let's see. It is now. Um. We're a little early for the budget. Did we think Elias was going to come? He said no, right? Because our Elias is not coming. So you feel comfortable with the two of you here and moving forward before 545? Sure. Okay. So we are going to review and approve the fiscal year 2025 budget. Action line. Anything new since when we talked last? So I think from the last meeting was just the question of whether to increase the HSA, but then again, Sarah's subsequent email, I think, may have changed that approach. Sarah, do you have anything to contribute? So, besides the email, I sent about the health insurance. There's really nothing we can do about it in this stage at this yeah. time of the year. So, which means the budget is what it is? Yes, but duly noted for next year. Well, here's the problem. So, so the issue is that the open enrollment is in the middle of our fiscal year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The thing that we sent on Friday was just to show that the HSA can divide it all out. Actually, you could get this, the town can even save a few bucks. Um, by going to a different health care. So there's really no impact on the budget at all uh, because it's, it's six of one and half dozen of the other. My issue was that I wasn't getting, if I was losing $10,000 in compensation, I'm, I'm happy about it. Sarah has a question. I, I yes. just wanted to. I just wanted to say thank you for looking that up and say that I I looked at everything and I don't see why we wouldn't um, go for the goal plus plan which is twelve dollars more than the gold plan and and makes people's um out of pocket the lowest it can be for not much more money um and you still have this h it's still a same hsa contribution no there's no hsa there's just a oh but if you take the hsa and you divide it all out and spend it on premiums versus an hsa Gotcha. But that's something we can't do right now. I don't gotcha. personally was the don't mind me talking. I don't think it has any impact on the budget. That I don't think it has yes. a huge impact on it. 
Okay. So when we revisit it in December, whenever the open enrollment is, and we are able to look at the things, then you know we know that we probably have budgeted enough that we make that switch. The hope certainly worth considering. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um. So um. I guess no. Then I think that would be the only thing. Mm -hmm. Or it was as of last meeting. Yeah. Unless there's something new that's come up in between. Yes. <laughs> Peter asked me to check and to watch what the deal was um, as far as when somebody reached retirement age. Uh, it's a Blue Cross thing that an employer under 20 employees must go to Medicare. And then that becomes first, and then anything else is secondary. And they do offer secondary things. So that was the answer to that. Okay. So, and that's full time equivalent employees, probably. Yeah. yeah. Which we don't have 20. We don't have 20. <laughs> full time equivalent. Okay. Um, okay. So, um, I know I talked with Randy today, and he feels comfortable, even though there's only three of us voting on the budget, like for us to vote without him. And Sarah, you said that to Peter, to Peter's son, Matt, who said that Peter has given his approval to go ahead with the budget. Okay. Okay. So are there any more questions about the budget? Because this is now the time that three of us are going to either vote for it or, and this is what we're presenting to the town for a floor discussion. So this could change. Um, I just have one, better or for worse. I just have one comment in the, the actual budget report. I didn't put the budget amount in. What? So we need to add it. Okay. Oh, right. So we need that final number. It will be one million eight hundred and forty five thousand five hundred and eight dollars. And that is an eleven point three six percent increase. And uh, amend that to send that back to Sarah. Um, can I just ask a question, though? Dick, this leads us to into the next thing, but it's related to the budget. A town Article seven. Is Article seven? Oh, but we're not gonna pay for it. Is that right? That we're not paying for it this year. No. Right? Is that what it is? So it's not in here. No, it's a, gotcha. January first. Okay, yep. Okay. Um, Are you asking why that is? Why we change it? Um, no. Um, but the two hundred thousand isn't oh, in not. here because we're not going to spend it in this. But well, depending when you take out, you have a year from the time you take out the loan, or to make your first. Payment. So I don't know when they're anticipating purchasing. I think Eric said he wanted to do it after July 1st. That was uh, that was the thought uh, previously after June after yeah. July 1st. July 1st, what year? This year. So I guess this is what I don't understand. So if they take if they buy it on July second of twenty twenty four, yeah, the first payment will be due in July second of twenty twenty. Which is why it's not a line item here. Gotcha. Okay, that's all I had to ask. Okay, so is there any more discussion about the fiscal year twenty twenty five town budget? You know, I think we've discussed. I think we beat it to death. I think we beat it to death, but I just want to make sure because you haven't been here. 
for the whole time that we've done this. I don't know if you were um, like the the process sort of begins in October and everyone comes and presents their budget, and then the last few meetings where you've been at is when we're sort of hashing out the whole thing. Um, so, all those in favor of approving the fiscal year twenty two? No, I'm sorry. Is there a motion to approve? A motion that we approve. Okay. All right. Is there a second? All right, all those in favor of the approval of the fiscal year 2025 budget, say aye. And that just want to make it clear that that is one million eight hundred forty five dollars, eight hundred forty five thousand five hundred eight dollars. Correct. Yes. Okay. Yes. So we're going to put that in the motion. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. The ayes have it. Okay. Thank you, budget committee, for all of your work on this because I know it's a lot of work, and I know you spend some time, your own personal time hashing out scenarios. So we really appreciate it. Um, and I would also ask you if Zara and Mark and maybe Elias plan to be at town meeting, I think it would be helpful if there were questions that the board felt like maybe better answered. Or if we have a question that you guys would be available to help us answer the question. Mark? Right. Sorry, can you repeat that? Are you going to be at the town, town yes. meeting? Okay, so it just would be helpful to have yes. um, you available to help answer questions. Um, I don't know if Peter's going to be here. I don't, I kind of think he won't, but I don't know. Yes, sir. I'm unfortunately going to miss town meeting uh, this year because I'll be traveling. Okay, great. Well, thank you for letting us know. Sure. Uh, but Mark, it sounds like you will be there barring any unforeseen roadblocks. Okay. Um, all right, so we are still ahead of schedule so we can review, approve, I don't know what happened to Sarah. Oh, here she comes. We can review, approve, and sign the March 5th, 2024 town meeting warning, action likely, and setting a date within 10 days of March, and we'll set a date within 10 days of March 5th, for an informational meeting on Article 7 or the article about the excavator, action likely. Okay, so here is our warning. We need an Article 6 to put the, a budget amount, Sarah. I, that, I just put it in. Oh, I perfect. A, a, a reset warning. Okay, great. And, um, so this is your this is your warning. This is your this is the select board's warning. So this is your chance to chime in. Yes, I know. Okay. Um, so do you want to explain about Article Seven since Eric's not here? Yes, please explain about Article Seven, and then I have to make one more comment about Article Eight. Unfortunately. Okay. Um. So Eric uh, pointed out that. They, they need a new excavator. Um, and the reason why an article like this goes on the ballot is because the indebtedness is more than five years. So the, the it can't just be voted from the floor. We did that once and we had to re redo it with the fire truck. So uh, Eric thinks that it won't be at 200,000, but it, so that's why we boarded it to now to exceed $200,000 to be financed over a period, not to exceed 15 years. When I talked to Dorinda last week, I think she mentioned something like thanks for looking at 10 years, but whatever. This gives you the this gives you the flexibility to, to borrow money for an excavator. Okay. Provided it passes. And then the other thing I want to ask you guys is so looking at the bottom, I asked I added a um something about I, I use this wording, this is wording this is straight out of the LPT about. Uh, letting people notice by know, know by postcard versus mailing the town report. Mailing is getting very expensive. Yeah, no, and, we don't town, get mail. and I just think that people just talk these town reports. And we'll have stacks of them in, in the office, and we'll have stacks of them at the school, and we'll have stacks of them at yeah. the at town meeting. So if it's okay with you, I would really like to have that freedom not to do that next year. Yes. Especially since the mail is going to be is so screwed up. Wait, but... So, so you did have to mail it this year. Well, yeah, that doesn't get us out of to twenty. Okay, get us out of twenty twenty four, but it will get. Uh, okay, I think that's a good article. I'm probably not even going to get mine. 
Neither is Jeff. I, again, we don't get mail anymore. We'll get it eventually. We might. <laughs> That's not really great for voting by mail. No, it, no, it's terrible. I mean, if, if you get your medications by mail, it's really all right. Bad. Um, okay, so that's fine. Um, any questions for anyone about Article 7? No. So Article 8, the only thing that I wanted to say was I believe my when I look back on my notes that, that I took with the meeting with BIA, they said on the safe side, we should probably ask for 65,000. 65? Yeah, because of the price of things having gone up. So what I'm suggesting is we say not to exceed or up to 65,000 and say 55,000 and 10,000. Do you guys still feel the same way about the construction manager? <laughs> well, you know, I would welcome you, Jeff, to you weigh in on it. I mean, I, I, I think if it's, I mean, I, I don't know enough about construction management to say whether or not, I, I just don't know what the alternative is. Like who, how does the job get done without a construction manager? Um, well, question first, the, we're asking the taxpayers to bless up to 65,000 yeah. theoretically for the exploratory phase of this thing. Our, I, as a resident, wasn't necessarily aware that we were contemplating spending two million and change on a renovation of this building. Should that be discussed as well? I mean, this fifty sixty five thousand dollar ask is ahead of maybe on two point one million dollars renovating this structure. So we have a Q and A that Sandy has put together that she's going to be posting on Front Porch Forum that we're going to get the word out, put it on the website that explains, like, it's a frequently asked questions thing about this town hall renovation so yeah. that people feel that they have some sort of understanding of it. Um, you know, unfortunately, and I just remember this from my experience as a, as a new person in Middlesex, if I didn't do my research, I couldn't just, like, start asking questions <laughs> as a thing, like, what's this all about, right? It's like, I either know what I'm voting for or I don't. And so um, I I don't want to put any like other numbers on here for like a potential, I mean, I would say um, a potential Middlesex town hall renovation, like a potential future kind of thing, because people may think we're already doing a renovation. Okay. Or may not, like me, not know anything about it. Right. We don't realize that, yeah. that this, Sixty-five thousand leads to ask for another two million later, and we spent sixty-five on exploring and designing. Right. Then put the two point one in front of them, and people say, "No." That's the whole point of this. Yeah. Longer. but it should be clear that we're asking for this as a yes. example to that. Yes. Somebody might say, "Sure, go ahead and look into it," and then they realize it's another two million dollars later, and say, okay. "Yeah." So this is a floor discussion. This is not a vote. People aren't checking off a box. So people are going to hear about it. So this we have this one pager and um, that people will also, I think we plan to give it out at town meeting, like have it be on people's chairs so that they have a they, they can look at it. But there will be discussion. I'm sure there'll be a lively discussion about it. Um, and the the purpose of this is if people don't have a stomach for it, then we know there's no point in putting a bond out if they're not going to, if they don't want to take this next phase, which really gives a comprehensive cost analysis of what this is going to entail. So that's really where this came from. Um, so, but can you say potential renovation on that, Sarah? I don't, I don't see why not. Yeah. Again, it's your, it's your. Yeah. yeah. And make it 55 so that it's a total of 65. So what if we need more it broken down, broken down, or, or don't even break it down? Don't break it down. I wouldn't even break it down. The sixty-five. Yeah, allocate up to sixty-five thousand. Okay. And I would say up to sixty-five because it may not cost us sixty-five. I think that was not a question. Oh. Um, well, I was just gonna uh, give a small piece of construction advice. 
don't hire somebody for a construction manager manager position just because that's their job title. I've worked in more buildings mm -hmm. than I can count where the construction manager had no idea about electrical code, plumbing code, building code in general. They just designed the building. And they were assigned to, to oversee it. And projects go a year, year and a half, two years, and then double their budget. And because they just don't have the actual construction experience to what actually takes to build a building, mm -hmm. they just know how to design it. And then their title is construction manager okay. or superintendent or whatever. Good to know. I think um, uh, the um, we have recommendations from the architect and and there and there are actually very sort of there's not that many, I think, that would, would actually respond to this bid. And there's a couple that do municipal buildings. So I think that's sort of where, you know, we're headed in that direction of um, being advised of, you know, we would have to put out a bid anyway, but being advised of the ones, and Dave knows some of them too, who work on smaller projects like this. But one other question, will we have access to the final, the final drawings that they submit if we do move forward with this project? Oh yeah, That's like right. all of that is becomes public, it gets put on their website. Right. Um, so yes, for sure, yeah. Did you want to add? Yeah, I mean, I would echo everything you just said, dealing with big projects from a, you know, not a hands-on cross side of the house, but paying for it. And these construction managers are often in a way huh. they don't necessarily do much as far yeah. as sourcing and solving problems in the GC. If it's a big construction company, they don't really care about this person. They've got a project manager on it. And to me, if we were to hire somebody in a sizable contractor, they would bring their own person that, mm -hmm. You know, granted, one of us would have to interface on to solve all the little problems that come up through a project like that, but it also mm -hmm. wouldn't cost the sixty-five thousand dollars for the ten percent or what was the was there a twenty percent fee they were looking to charge on the whole project? Ten thousand. That was just on the. That was, that was just on the design on the phase. Yeah. I don't remember what it was, Jeff, what the percentage is. I think I heard 20 something. And yeah. I mean, you know, and, uh, you know, the, the comments that you made, and I can ask her again, I can ask um, VIA again, like, you know, what the alternative would, would look like. Um, but she sort of made it out that, like, this day and age, like, it behooves you to have a construction manager because of the sourcing and because of the time and the lack of workers and all of that kind of stuff. And when they can bundle things with other projects, you would have a better chance of like getting the work done that actually needs to get done and getting the costs that down so how you want it. I just don't think that you'll see an independent PM have much pull with the contractor if they've got a shortage of some material mm -hmm. shortages that they're going to necessarily want somebody running around rounding up like you know like in front of the window. Yeah. yeah. Well, so what I would say, Sarah, is just just if you can say maybe um I have it rewritten. Jane. Yeah, what does it say? Uh shall the town allocate up to sixty-five thousand dollars to pay for the design phase of a potential Middlesex town hall renovation. Yes. Potential and then we can talk about. Then you can talk, but the voters yeah. say, no, we don't want to spend that much money or we want to move the town hall or yeah. we want to build new, whatever. At least that's how we get a feeling for it. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. It's, do you mind if I just explain to Jeff that we, the board was at one time looking at just allocating this money and then they came into this discussion like, well, should we go out for a bond and then take this money out of the bond to pay for this? But the bond vote was a big separate bond vote. It was also not going to be timely for, for whatever plans we needed because we've got this municipal energy, what is it called? Resilience Works. program. Okay, you know, these, these grand thin lines breathing down. So this was a way of, of testing the water, so to speak. Yeah. And if people said, no, we don't want to spend $65,000, we sure as hell don't want to spend $2 million, then right. Uh, we're done. Right. right. I've got to, I'm going to go down and get the other printout. So okay. You guys can Thanks, sir. Um, so are there any more um, questions about the warning? Comments? So on that yes, on article P. Yep. Is uh, who's gonna answer the question? are you the one are you gonna answer the questions? I guess I am. 
I'm, sure. I'm going to do my best. I mean, I, and, and no, Dave is going to be there too. Dave McGee is going to be there to help. Okay. Sandy will be there too. For your pardon? Sandy will be there too. Sandy Levine. Um, Only 850 for Central Vermont Council on Aging. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm thinking Central Vermont Home Health and Hospice. Never mind. Okay, there's the library again. Yep. Waterbury Senior Center. Is there a Montpelier? Yep, 4,000 for the Montpelier Senior Center. Youth First Mentoring. North Branch. Alrighty, the old regulars are on there. Okay, so we have, I'm going to go like this, Sarah. I gave you a new one. I didn't rip it up. Okay, we have a printer. I can print out more. Okay, so is there a motion to approve the warning for the annual town meeting for March 5th, 2024? I will make the motion. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Yay, your first motion. <laughs> All those in favor of the warning for March 5th for Middlesex Town Meeting say aye. Aye. The ayes have it. Woohoo! And now you all have now to we need to sign. Thank you. All right, so pass it down. So thank you, uh, Mark Lee Uh did I rip up my agenda? No, I didn't. Here it is. Alrighty. Oh, we are still ahead of schedule. Thank you, Mark. Six fifteen, treasurer's okay. report. You ready to give it to us in advance? Yes. Yeah. Dear Treasurer, um, we we have to approve the bat shoulder. Yeah, we need to approve that. Um, I have uh, we received finally received our first beam of money. Oh, five thousand and sixty three dollars. That's for the trash removal. Okay. I thought we already got that. No, no. Okay. no it was a plane. She began our first five thousand dollars from the dumpsters. <laughs> um. So, uh, yeah, that was that's that. That was that. Um. I do have two small um corrections on the uh, audit report. Um. But it's nothing to do with numbers or anything. They just. They call the the Walt Kelly Fund the Welch Park Fund. Okay. And they there was another one in there that I okay. got written down. So um, all right. But those were two corrections. Um other than that, I didn't see anything else. In okay, there. good. Yep. So did everyone get a chance to peruse through the audit? The really fascinating literature mm -hmm. bedtime literature yeah i did too i asked dorinda a few questions because i have challenge challenges reading that report <laughs> um i mean it's hard if you don't know what you're reading but dorinda was very helpful um so if there's no questions, is there a motion to approve the um, fiscal 23 audit of town finances conducted by Batchelder Associates? So moved. All right, Vic. Is there a second? Okay. All those in favor of passing um, the approval of the audit, say aye. 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 All right. Is there anything else you want to update us on, on um, nope. Dorinda? Nope. All righty. Um, so we have gone to other business and looks like we're not approving the 2024 certificate of highway mileage. No, because let me just ask you something. So that's as of February 10th of 2024. Yeah. So if possible, we might be able to squeeze Welch Park in there and make it a class three highway. get money. So we're kind of holding off. Or not. Well, if we can, you know, maybe if, if you have a public hearing on the six and people are like, God damn it, we don't want Wells Park Drive to become a class three town road, then you might hold off. But there's no, we might as well see if we can squeeze it in. Okay. Um, hold on. I don't think we set a date. Oh, yeah, that's right. We didn't do that. Date. So it's got to be the BLT. I don't know if you remember last time. The statute's very, it's 
very wanty, but BLTT has clarified this information because we've got a public question on the Australian ballot. You have to have an informational meeting, and it's got to be within ten days. Okay, March fifth. So you have a meeting on February sixth. February tends to be kind of a slow time. You might want to move your second meeting toward the end of February. So let's just look at the calendar. Okay. Are normally we're the first and third, which we still are. We're meeting at Wells Park on the fifth. I mean, at five o'clock on the sixth. Sure. The twentieth. Um. So wait, what are you proposing? I'm sorry, it's sir. Within, it's got to be within ten days. So okay. Have, so isn't that ten days? I don't know. I got to go use my calculator. Yeah, it's ten days sure. before the fifth. We yeah. can do it on the twentieth. Okay. Great. So we could have our public meeting be on the twentieth. Awesome. All right. Great. We don't have to vote on that, do we? No. Okay. Um, okay. So the orders, do we have orders? We just oh, said the we do. Okay. I saw the payroll come through. Yeah. I looked at that. They did a lot of overtime, those boys. We must have had some snowstorms. Was there any there's no concern about someone working like legally 14 hours a day? I saw someone work 14 hours a day. That's fine. Okay. Is there a cap on the number of days? I'm thinking with the CDL license, like. Oh, you can't have over 70 hours. But I don't. When I say that, I don't know if municipalities. Are, yeah, okay, from that, that, okay. I mean, it didn't look like there was. Well, there was never. Um, no one had 70 hours, but uh, I just didn't know if there was something around like how many hours. Because I thought we had something where. We make people stop plowing at a certain time, like nine o'clock or ten o'clock. I think that's our that's our uh, that you're you're getting that from our our highway policy, road policy. Yeah. That we won't we don't there's a certain time we don't go out and plow like yeah. after nine o'clock before such and such a time. It's but that's the, if there's no storm. Right. Is that if there's a storm or not a storm? Even if there's a storm. Okay. That's, so that's what you're asking. Even if it is snowing like hell. They have to stop. Okay. All right. Um, we don't have a bear. Right okay. Now. So these are the orders, guys. If you want to start looking at them. And then, um, so uh, correspondence, um, we received the email from you, Samantha, with the videos. That was the only correspondence I received, I think. Um, although we did also receive a correspondence. Was that this, this time from? Um, Zach's partner, I forget her name, Evelyn, Evelyn, Evelyn. Evelyn. Um, to give us all the emails of which I don't believe I had any, but um, that of correspondence. Um, I can't remember when she did that a couple of weeks ago, maybe. Um, so I did you get that video Sorry. from Sarah from Samantha? Okay, I personally couldn't see anything. I'll be honest, I, I looked at it and I mean, I saw him like put his foot on the snow and a little snowball fell in the road. Um, and I saw your video of like some snow on the side of the road. Um, and I, I personally, I mean, I'm not, I don't live there, but I, I didn't, I mean, I see snow on the road all the time, like on my driveway everywhere. So I guess I didn't, and I didn't see, I could not literally see in the video, like any action. That were happening, but well, maybe it was so small. You could see him come out of the, out of the driveway and kick the snow. I mean, I, I saw him sort of just standing there and like touched a snowball and it kind of rolled. But you're, you know, I don't mean any offense. I'm not uh, any offense or any. I mean, I'm, I'm walking on pins and needles here because I don't want to get accused of of uh, uh, not being sensitive to your to your cause, but. Uh, from what I got, from what I saw, you're basically, uh, what you're saying is you don't, anything that's in that 50 foot right away. No. No? No, the no. road, the road. The road, the, the road. So what my concern is not the right, right way. way. Okay. It's the roadway. Okay. So if it's an obstruction in the roadway, okay. that's my concern. Okay. Um, and it was bigger than a snowball. It was actually an ice chunk. So if it was a snowball, it would have fell apart, like when he kicked it and pulled it into the road. Um. And it might be hard to see if you're like watching it on a computer, but if you watch it on a phone, you can kind of zoom in and see that, you know, we, we've always plowed the road. So we take care of the road. 
um, which is fine, but for us to take care of the road and then for him to go and pull ice chunks into Yeah, the... I guess I just didn't see that. And and I tried zooming in, but it would zoom in only to the left of the video. And so like, and I saw nothing. So like, I, I mean, you're welcome to show me. I, I but I literally could not, it just yeah. was so sure. hard to see. I, I was, I was looking at the one that where I think it's you sitting in the car coming down the road. Coming home. Yeah. Coming so home. that same day, just showing coming yeah. home. And I didn't, I didn't see a lot. I mean, I saw, a, 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 I guess I saw an ice chunk, but I didn't see it like obstructing the road in a way that it, oh, you sure. couldn't drive by, that you can drive by it. But like I, and I could drive by. So I could drive by it. But according to the letter from the town lawyer, he's not to be placing anything in the roadway. And, and what's up with this? I have to ask, what what do you mean he's hosing down the road? He's taking water and spraying the road? Yeah, I, I couldn't see that. So first he kicks it, and then he kicks it into the road. It's just not necessary. Yeah. Like, to me, that makes it clear he's intentionally yeah. putting things in the road after this has been an issue for over a year. Yeah, see, I, I guess I just interpreted it as, you know, he looks like a kid playing around with the snow. <laughs> oh, frankly, but I mean, I, you know, I, I don't live there. Um, so, and then so coming home, and maybe yeah. this is more for fit. Yeah. To see, like, we had just plowed the road. Like, so, I mean, this is just us driving home. So, it's that's definitely not 50 feet. That's, that's what you're talking about? Yes. Okay. And like you said, you can get by it, but yeah, you just don't I can want get it. by it. And it's the same thing with the rock. Yeah. You know, yeah. we could we could definitely drive it's straight along the road thing. and go around it. Okay. Um, but to me, it's clear in the letter from the lawyer, um, it, it's clear, don't put obstructions in the road. Yeah. You know. Um, when was that letter sent, Sarah? Like what? What letter? The letter from the lawyer. Yeah. And then yeah. December? To, I think December, yeah. Maybe. Answer your question. So this is on December 29th watering the road so what does water do in the winter did we not have snow on december 29th we didn't it snowed the very next day so that's just creating icy conditions in the roadway for no reason but so it looks, like, he, it looks like he's doing the watering can well the water can yeah it looks like he's can you show to me yeah you can just back up all right, all right it looks like he's doing it though not in the roadway on the that's I mean, that's the roadway and i mean that's the like that's the travel portion that's not even the 22 feet that you guys defined it's way within did the he plant something feet. it's december 29th it was freezing yeah. um we got that snow the next strange. day so it's just making the roads icy for no reason other than to make so it the, but it's not the, throwing water right in there like so the, the concern is where he's pouring the water because of the illegal alterations that he's yeah. made to the roadway the road slants from his side to our side so that water followed the natural path of gravity across the entire width of the road right so this, froze. the town has oh does it go up like this it's he it's, built his side angle. of the road up that, yeah that was part of the issues with the road with the traveled portion of the road and so when he watered his side of the road it went downhill across the width of the roadway yeah, so the, the town was supposed to come out and and redefine and grade the road yeah. and you know, it, uh, yeah, and never get around to it. And then the flood, so the road is not crowned properly. So it's yeah. from him building it up on his. But wouldn't the water go down this way? You're yeah. saying it's crowned up so that it's going into the road. It's not. It's crowned higher, up. The whole so road if, tips. Yeah, so if you if you're looking at the, the road, it's higher on his side. Mm. Um, and I mean, I have another video. of I see. So, so when he poured that water, it would stream into the road. Right, and then that, that is the the drivable path of the road. Yeah. Okay. You know, like well within the twenty two feet that was defined. Yeah. Um. To me, you know, these issues have been going on for over a year. Mm -hmm. The town lawyer sent sent a cease and desist. Don't put obstructions in the road. Don't alter the road. And so for him to come behind us and kick ice chunks in the road. Mm -hmm. I just, I really cannot see a reason for it. Yeah. And then uh, after the letter, what did the letter say? What would happen <laughs> if he didn't follow the rules? Fine. What? A fine? Okay. So um, I guess. I, I don't, I, I guess I, I would like to hear from other board members their You're thoughts on this. I, I'm at a little loss for words. Um, you know, so 
I'm not sure that your videos are enough for us to say, okay, we're going to find him for like I, the videos don't show me that what that 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 ice came to the road. Maybe you'd be able to see it if you went down there. Those ice chunks are are just not enough for me to start finding somewhere. How about this isn't like putting a, a a little rock in the middle of the road or you know a log. I mean, I what I see it as are these little maybe I don't even know unconscious uh, passive aggressive. I, I don't know. Yes, Steve. So if I just went on Center Road in Middlesex and I the plow truck for the town goes by plows the road mm -hmm. and I go behind the plow truck and just start putting ice chunks back in the road. You'd find that totally acceptable and just they're, they're big enough they, they would damage your vehicle. They would damage your vehicle if you hit them they are big enough. Yeah. Okay. And I guess in that video it looks like you, it's not in the middle of the road. It looks like it's right next to the snowbank and in my mind. Pouring water on the travel portion of the roadway creates an intentional hazardous mm -hmm. situation for drivers. Just to bring yes. us back to all the issues, um, it wasn't just an issue. So there's nothing in the policy or there's no rules that say we're only worried about the center of the road, yeah. right? So it's it's the roadway, you know, there's no reason. And honestly, if this was a one-time thing and this hadn't been going on for over a year, wouldn't have brought it up. We would just fix it and keep going, you know? And if I actually thought this would be a one-time thing and it wouldn't mm -hmm. continue, I wouldn't have brought it to you. But reading the letter from the lawyer, knowing this is just repeating itself like there's no reason mm -hmm. I, I cannot think of any reason for someone to put obstructions in a roadway okay well i mean board what do you think should we find mr french i would uh, say that you should call mr french in and give him an opportunity to talk to the select board and to explain why he's doing these kind of things and, and what it is and if he doesn't show up well then find him jeff any thoughts on that idea uh, Two questions, Sarah. One, can you send me the letter from the attorney that was sent to him? If that's sure, they wait. I don't want to make this take all night because I'm coming in. This first I've heard of it. I saw the email that goes to what this been going on for a year. You said August. Uh, so this happened August 6, 2022, was when it first started. Yeah. And August 16th, 2022, is when I came to the select board in a meeting and first brought up the alterations to the road. Backstory wise, I assume before you brought it to the select board, you had some conversations with him. Yeah. Understand what you want, want. So works. this, so there's a lot of issues, um, personal issues with the neighbor um, and it, it, those escalated. Um, and not to get into too much detail about that, I feel like, it, you know, instead of doing the things he was doing, um, he shifted to doing things to the road um, instead of my property for me. Some intentional yes. antagonizing. Yes. So I have a no stocking order against him. Um, so it, it's just to me, this is like more ways of harassing me. Yeah. You know, so you know, when he first put the speed bump in the road in August, um, I asked him about it to see why, you know, and he said he wanted a water bar, you know, so. I bought my property in 2014. Um, uh, we've never needed these alterations. Um, you know, he moved here from Massachusetts in 2015, um, and I didn't have any issues until like the personal issues escalated, and then it it's shifted to the roadway. You know, so I, I, and then he's blocked the road. You know, right at the end of my driveway, where I actually had to call the police, and they had called him and he removed it. Um, but they were the ones that were like, you need to go to your select board. Same thing I talked to the Secretary of State. They said it's the select board's responsibility. This is a class four road. Yeah. Not all knowledge. Yeah. Thank you for the introduction. Yeah. I agree with that. I okay. Bring him to, ask him to come in and, and talk about it. I, what, what could it hurt then if we actually don't be able to make a plan? According I, to uh, Peter, we do. I think we do. I think collecting on it gets a little bit more difficult. I think. What's the escalation after a fine and no payment right. in the property? Yeah, I, I don't know the answer to it. We'd have to we'd have to look at the I mean I don't think it's 
like I don't think it's a police matter. I think it's like a legal matter. Like we're, you know. Yeah, I'm surprised. Did they actually respond to state police? Yeah, they they reached out to him to have him removed because he can't he can't be blocking the vote. Right. You yeah. know. Yeah. Um, Sarah, do you want me to reach out to him and ask if he can come to do it? No, in fact, I'll talk to Melvin. I'm going to say he can come to the February 6th meeting and talk about the ice in the road. I'd like him there. Is there a restraining order here? Um, yeah, he has to be. Yeah. There what? Could he show up on Zoom? Yeah, he can go on Zoom. Okay. But he can't be in the same room as you, correct? He has to be 300 feet away from me when I'm off my property. So. That wouldn't work. He has to be 300 feet away from me when I'm off my residential property. Yeah. Would you mind if he was on Zoom or would you rather have him? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Would you mind asking? I mean, I don't, do we have time for the February, for this next meeting, the February 6th for the agenda? Okay. Yeah. I mean, we got where you Does that work for you guys? To yeah. like, I, I, I would like to hear from him before we just go and find him. Just, yes, Sarah. Yeah. I know I have no right to talk, but just my suggestion would be that he shows up in person and that she stays at home for this next one. Uh, doing that for, via Zoom, like having that conversation, that's just my two cents. Yeah. What do you think about that? I can. Yeah. I I think I think you're right, Sarah. I prefer to have him here. Okay. I'll ask. Him. Okay. Um, any other matters that may come before the board? Is there anything else you folks, our only guests, our one and only guests are MJ? I don't know who MJ is on the Zoom. Do you, sir? No. Michael Jackson? Do you want to know? Michael Jackson. Because they're a guest? They don't have to unless they speak. They if they, uh, they don't have to unless they speak. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. MJ was here. Thank you, MJ. For um, alrighty. So if there isn't any other thing that comes before the board, I am adjourning this meeting at 6.17 p.m. Okay.